Hi, welcome to another episode of Talking with Docs. I'm Dr. Brad Weening. And I'm Dr. Paul Zalzo. So this video is going to discuss buckle fractures in kids. Buckle fractures. Okay, what's a buckle fracture? So a buckle fracture is a term we use to describe a fracture in skeletally immature bones, so bones in children, uh, where the bone doesn't break and separate completely. It actually uh, almost bends and on the compression side it buckles up a bit. Um, it's also similar to what we sometimes call green stick fracture. So if you imagine, imagine a branch, it's not uh, fully, it doesn't have bark right around it, it's sort of like still green. You can bend it and break it, but it doesn't come apart completely. Yeah, so young kids' bones have a really thick lining called periosteum that allows them to bend and buckle, whereas old people's bones, like Paul's and my bones, they shatter like an old piece of dry wood. That's a good example. Not very uplifting, but a good example. So when someone has a buckle fracture, Paul, is that, is that sound serious? Is it, more, is it more serious than a normal fracture or break or crack? I don't think so. I think it's, you know... Um, it's just a term we use to describe it, but the buckle fractures heal very well because everything is still lined up uh, pretty well uh, and the, uh, the bone is still contained by that periosteum that you talked about. So the potential for healing is excellent and in kids, these things heal quite quick. And so when they come in, it's all the same as a normal fracture. They come in with a very typical mechanism of injury, some type of trauma. They have pain, swelling, reduced function. You get the x-ray, you see the buckle. Do you treat them any differently? I still cast them. Um, you know, depending on the, and the duration of the casting is sort of age dependent. Uh, someone four years old or younger is only going to need to cast for about three weeks, yeah, two to three that. weeks. As you get up into your, you know, uh, 10, 11, 12 year olds, uh, then casting more in the, to the full, or immobilizing anyways, four to six weeks, maybe cast for four weeks and a removable splint for two weeks. Sort of depends on the bone, is it weight bearing or non-weight bearing. And that's what's so cool about kids is that when you follow them with their x-rays, especially if they're really young, they make bones so quickly that even at a week or two weeks you can see like abundant bony response on the x-ray, whereas in older people sometimes you go four weeks or six weeks and you barely see a hint of bone. So yeah, kids heal so quickly and, and have the potential to remodel. So even if the bone is a little bit crooked, sometimes the parents look at me and say, what the heck, that bone is really crooked. Mm. They say it's going to be okay because your child can lay bone down on both sides of the fracture and then slowly remodel it over a period of sometimes even one and two years and straighten the bone out again. Yeah, if the growth plates are still open and the bone is still growing, it can correct uh, any uh, type of deformity. It can do many types of deformity, not any type of deformity, but it can tolerate quite a bit of deformity and will straighten out to a certain degree. So probably the take home buckle fracture, not a horrible fracture to have, right. probably going to do pretty well, get the kid back going to play on the monkey bars and break something else. <laughs> All right. Thanks again for tuning in. And remember, uh, you are in charge of your own health. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to email us, email us at info at talkingwithdocs.com. Thank you.